Happy day, everyone. I'm Tyler Matinani. Thanks so much for joining us with another At The Bar. Today, we have wine connoisseur, if you will, Jason, here to tell us a bit of one, some wine 101, if you will. So Jason, what have we got? So today, the idea is we're gonna discuss wine 101. We're gonna discuss uh, New World Wine. So what is New World Wine? So New World Wine would be consisted of California, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Chile, and Argentina. But today we're specifically focusing on California wines. It accounts for 90% of all production of wine in the US. And in California, we have 138 different districts inside of California, which is they call American Viticulture Areas, AVA. So that can be California as a whole, it can be Napa Valley, it can be Sonoma, it can be Sierra Foothills. It just really depends on where you really wanna focus your wine from. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one with this problem. I know how to open a wine, use the cork and everything, but my problem personally is trying to get the lining off of it. So I know you're going to teach us how to do that. Okay, yeah, of course. Okay. It's very simple procedure. We're gonna take, we're gonna open one of the reds, um, you see here. Um, we're gonna take the corkscrew, and I, I usually like going two ways. I'm left-handed, so I always like to go the second, the second lip here, and you go one left and you go one right. So it kind of, it breaks it apart. Then you take the center right there. So you have a little cushion and then you just slowly pull it off. Oh, sorry. And then you take the foil, drop it like a boss. Of course he makes it look so easy. <laughs> I'm gonna, I usually have to cut all, and it's all jagged by the end, yeah. by the time I'm done. But usually, I mean, this is, you know, the. the the unique way it makes it look nice and presentable if you're at a restaurant or at a table, you always want to look that, for that nice finish on the bottle. Okay. And then after that, you just easily want to st stick your cork tip inside really hard. And then you just slowly or quickly, depending how strong you are, put it all the way inside. And then you see th these pull tabs, they have two different um, opening sections. So you do the first one here, pull it like that. And then you have the second one that pulls just like this. And then it slowly pops. Okay, now we have our wine open. Now we have to get it into the glass. So I'm not sure if there's a specific way to do it. I know it can get a bit messy. So Jason, can you show us the best way in your opinion to pour of the wine? Of course, usually you always wanna have a little cloth, but if you don't have the time to have a cloth, it just basically you're pouring with a little finisse, a little swirl, and then you're doing a little twist. And then just like that. How do we taste wine? How do we identify wine? So identifying a wine is also by color. So when we tell, when we look at a color, it also tells by different grape varietals. So right here, we look at this wine, we know it's a red wine. Uh, from that red wine color, we're looking at it if it's a full body wine or light body wine. So the darker the color, the more full body wine it is. Um, after that, when you're tasting wine, you always wanna look at the legs of the wine. So what do, what do the legs tell you? It tells you how much alcohol is in a wine. And everything about alcohol also tells about re what region the wine comes from. So warmer regions, higher alcohol. Uh, cooler regions, lesser alcohol. Now we're gonna smell the Callaway Merlot. So what do we smell inside? What are we getting? Wine. Well, we, we do get wine, it is wine. <laughs> Uh, but after it's that, it's really nice. It's not too, uh, the alcohol isn't too strong. It's not burning your nose or mm, anything like that. Yeah, so it's, that's the good thing is that, and especially New World, a lot of times there's a little more sugar inside. So it's a little more balanced, a little more easygoing for the new wine drinkers. So now, ready to taste? All right. So you see, I made that little noise. So that little noise really is putting air in your palate, so it's really opening up the wine a little bit more. Oh, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> so now we identified it has that fruity characteristic, nice and balanced acidity, alcohol is not overpowering, mm -hmm. the tannins are not too much, and a lot of times the fine tannins in red wine, if they're drier tannins, they really stick to your teeth. So when your teeth get dry, that means it's a more bigger bodied, more tannins in your wine. Well, Jason, thank you so much for teaching us a bit more on wine etiquette and what to look out for. Thank you guys for tuning in for another At The Bar episode. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.